So good morning, YouTube! Uh, today we're going to be uh, checking out um, some beard care products and stuff. It is Christmas-ish. Um, it's December 2019. And um, if you got a beard like mine, gets a little bit bushy, looking kind of like a hobo and stuff. And uh, we've taken a look at a lot of different beard straighteners. Um, it's it's one of those things where you kind of are skeptical. You know, like hair straighteners, some of them are crap, some of them work great. The more you spend, usually, um, the better they work. And that's just how everything is, you know. You get what you pay for, for the most part. Uh, so today we're going to be taking a look at uh, this bad boy right here. The beard class. Um, it's a beard straightener brush, just like you've seen. I'm sure you've seen plenty of ads on Facebook and the Instagrams and uh, the YouTubes and everything else about how to straighten your beard. Um, I personally have a relatively thick beard. Uh, I mean, it's not too long, but it's yeah, it's down to my chest or so. Uh, and it, especially when you wake up in the morning, it takes a while to be able to brush it out and get it at least looking somewhat presentable. So, my wife decided to grab me one of those Beard Class straighteners. Um, I tried it out, and uh, I'm going to show you guys the results. I don't do reviews on things unless I genuinely feel uh, that it's worth reviewing. Uh, good, bad, I don't usually do indifferent. So, uh, let's, let's, let's take a look inside the box. Alright, so this is the box. Um, I did open it up, because obviously I tried it out. I don't know if I'm going to want to review something until, you know, I try it. But, this is what comes in the box here. Got a neat little brush. Be able to scrape it off in case any excess beard hairs get up in there. We get, I mean, rules, regulations, all of that stuff. I mean, basically it tells you once you plug it in, uh, don't lick it, which... Yeah, that's the least of my concerns right now. I would suggest against that. Um, and then you get this neat little thing here. It's got like a keychain with a beard mustache little comb thing. Kind of neat novelty item. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna be. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna be really using it. But um, I mean, I've got my wooden beard comb that I keep with me all the time, anyways. But you know, it comes with these scissors. Um, these little trimming scissors do work really well, actually. Uh, they're pretty heavy duty and they have that nice, uh, you know, when they snip, it's, uh, it feels like it's actually going to do the job, which is going to be great. Uh, so that's kind of cool. Uh, and then you have the actual device here. And this device comes in a nifty little travel bag. And this is it. Now, first impressions absolutely love it when you hold it it's very ergonomical feels good in your hand it's relatively small and compact um, this here spins so it's got that swivel so it doesn't constantly twist up on you um, you know it doesn't get tangled and everything else which I absolutely love and then I don't know if you can see in there but right in here there's ceramic coating on the inside of the inner brush uh, bristles there and that is what really does the trick there you go you can see all the metal and stuff that ceramic metal coating um, which is really really nice so if you're looking at it as well you can see that there's different heat settings um, you know if you've got a if you got a beard that's bigger thicker and uh, unwieldy then you know you're gonna go with a higher higher setting me personally when you first turn it on it automatically goes to the middle setting and I find that that works perfectly but again I mean if your beard isn't as thick as mine if it isn't as long you know if if it's a little thinner then yeah maybe dial it down a notch or two and you do that right here this is the on and off button as well as the adjustment for the heat setting uh, as soon as you plug it in and you click this button it turns on and automatically goes up to here to the middle option um, you push and hold the button to be able to turn it off. I think you got to hold it for like two or three seconds. But, uh, yeah, I mean, you can tell just by the weight of this, uh, it is very, very well put together. Uh, it's probably, 
you know, anywhere from half pound to a pound, which is really heavy. It doesn't feel like straight plastic. You can tell that there's some metal and some beefcake in there, which is going to be great because that means it should last a while. Uh, but again, I mean, it's got that green logo there. I love the green. The green on black just looks super sexy. Uh, green's my favorite color. I mean, if you don't like the, the green, then, I mean, I guess you could scratch it off or something. But the actual product itself is... Uh, is really really well put together and uh, it feels like it's going to be a quality product so you'll have to excuse the sink but essentially what happens is when you plug it in like I said you literally just click it once and then it automatically puts it on that pre-setting and while it's blinking like this that means that it's preheating usually the preheating only takes a few seconds I mean, realistically, I've found that it doesn't take more than 30 seconds to be able to heat up. Sometimes it's less than that. But, uh, yeah, I mean, while it's blinking, like I said, it's just uh, it's just kind of doing its thing. It's heating up. doesn't take too, too long. And it's quick and easy. Plug it in, push a button, turns on. And, uh, again, I'm going to be doing this one-handed. But, she's all heated up. Took about 15, 20 seconds. Not very long at all. So if you're in a rush, you wake up in the morning, your beard's all askew, literally plug it in, push that button before you're done brushing your teeth. It's all set and ready to go. And uh, we're going to show you just one swipe. So, I mean, again, you can see my beard's relatively big and bushy. And then... Just like that, I mean, I'm gonna turn my, turn my straightener off there real quick. I mean, that is, that is a world of difference, is exactly what that is. I mean, it looks nice, neat, tidy. It, I mean, again, compared to how it was before, I'd say that's a win. Look at that bad boy. So yeah, again, um, I like it. I think it looks good. <laughs> looks way better than it did before, and you can you can feel the difference. It doesn't feel tight on your face. It feels loose. It feels free, um, and you know that's really what I'm looking for. It just adds that little bit of extra gumption. And I mean, I, I think that the device itself is like thirty or forty bucks, which isn't terrible. I mean, I'm not. I'm not going to say that it's one of the cheapest ones out there because, I mean, you can definitely find ones for, you know, 20 bucks or $15.99 or something like that. But um, if you're going to spend a couple of extra dollars, um, you know, 30, 40 bucks is definitely worth it, especially when it literally just took a few seconds, a few swipes. Um, from here, uh, what I do is I usually take beard oil and, you know, I, I oil my, my face, not the beard itself. I don't know if many people know this but beard oil isn't meant for your beard it's meant for the skin where your beard grows to be able to promote growth um, but yeah I mean I'll throw a little bit of beard oil in and around my face and stuff like that if you throw the beard oil in first it usually burns the beard oil smells terrible uh, totally eliminates the effects of the oil itself so don't do that but uh, yeah straighten your beard first and then throw some beard oil in comb it out real quick and uh, yeah, as you can see, it's it's flopping. It literally throws it to the ground to the point where it's uh, 
yeah, it's it's staying nice and nice and tidy. So uh, that was my review of that uh, beard brush, beard comb. Um, again, it's from Beard Class. Um, I'm gonna try and leave a link down in the description as to where you can buy it. Again, I personally didn't buy it. My wife bought it for me for Christmas, and I mean, I give it a thumbs up. I, I think that it works great uh, just for a couple of brushes. I mean, if you want to spend more time and really get into it, you absolutely can. But just for a matter of seconds as to how well that really worked, uh, I think is definitely worth the price tag. It's it's something that you can't really go without. Um, especially if you want a nice, tidy, well-kept beard and something that promotes the growth. So uh, if you like the video, give her a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, I'm going to leave a link to my last vlogs down below, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.